Hi mga kawalmat! So, let's talk about line graph for today. Alright, balikan muna natin yung mga graph that we have already discussed in a previous week. So, we're able to discuss histogram, pictograph, and bar graph. Okay. So, pictograph, we are using pictures. Bar graph, we are using bars. Also, histogram. But the difference is, ito, we can, a, a bar graph, we can have it horizontally or vertically. Unlike the histogram, we can only have it vertically. Okay. Now, for, to, for today's discussion, ang gagamitin naman natin, line graph. So, paano ba ito ginagawa? Okay. A line graph is na is most suitable when we want to show the rising and falling trend of a set of data over a period of time. So kung ang gusto mong ipakita ay yung pagtaas at pagbaba ng isang ng set of data, it's better to use line graph. Why? Kasi mas madaling makita ah tumaas to. Ah bumaba siya. Ah consistent lang, pantay lang. Tumaas ulit, mas madali siyang makikita kapag ang ginamit natin ay line graph. So, kadalasan, saan ba siya ginagamit? Kapag uh, meron tayong uh, data na nire... Kung mapapansin nyo, pag nanood tayo ng balita, meron tayong mga ano doon, di ba? Yung uh, degrees. Pag pinapakita yung uh, degrees or temperature, di ba? Kapag nagre-report ng weather forecast. Para madaling ipakita yung difference ng temperature, they are using line graph. Okay. Another, the horizontal line shows the categories being considered. The vertical line indicates frequency. So, yung horizontal line, siya yung nagpapakita ng categories. And then, yung vertical line indicates the frequency. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Yung B lang ay nasa ah uh, yung B yung B lang ay nasa ilalim, yung horizontal line that is the category. Right. So here's one of the example of line graph. So kung mapapansin niyo Andyan ang mga lines na makikita natin yung pagtaas at pagbaba niya. Diba? This is another example. Ayan. So, dyan natin ginagamit ang line graph. So, kung ang gusto mong ipakita ay ang pagtaas at pagbaba, mas magandang gamitin ang line graph. Okay, so let's have an example. This table shows the temperature in Baguio City taken from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a particular day. So, ito yung table. Subukan natin siyang i-graph using line graph. So, ito raw yung temperature simula alas 6 ng umaga hanggang alas 3 ng hapon. So, pa bago natin gawin, sagutin muna natin itong mga tanong. When was the warmest time of the day? Kailan daw yung pinakamainit? Hey, so that is during 12 noon. Hey, so ganun naman talaga yata, nakapagtanghaling tapat, di ba? Sobrang init. And then when was it coolest? We have 6 a.m. Kaya marami sa atin hindi naliligo pag umaga kasi di ba malamig ang tubig? Tapos malamig ba ang hangin? Yan. And then, so we will be, we will try to discuss, compare the temperature trend during the day. Okay? How? Using the line graph. Okay. Here's the table. So before natin i-graph yung line graph, syempre, dapat meron kang table. Okay? 
Yung table, yan ang magiging guide mo. Mas maganda kung meron siyang grid lines. Pero, wag naman masyadong kita. Yung light lang. Okay? So, mas maganda kung meron siyang grid lines para mas madali mong ma-plot ang points. Okay? Yes. Magpa-plot muna tayo ng points bago tayo gumawa na yung line graph. Hindi pwedeng basta nag-graph ka lang, gumawa ka ng linya. Hindi pwedeng ganun. So, kailangan meron kang plot. Plotting of points. Ano yung piipa-plot natin? Etong data na binigay sa atin. So, you have to plot the points. I-plot mo muna para meron kang i-coconnect pag dudugtong-dugtongin mo. Yun ang mag-form ng line. At meron ka ng line graph. Hindi yung basta gumawa ka lang ng line base sa gusto mo. Tansya-tansya. Hindi pwede yun. Okay? So, dito natin ilalagay ang temperature sa gilid, sa left side. So, since ang lowest naman natin ay 12 at ang highest natin ay 23. Okay. So, siguro pwede ko nang gawin na by 2, 0 to 28. Hindi naman kailangan paabuti mo ng 100 dahil hindi mo naman kailangan yung ibang frequency. So, since may, ang highest natin ay 23, pwede na yan hanggang 28. Right? You can also have it by 3s. Pwede rin naman. Pero para mas madaling makita, I can you I can use by twos para mas uh, makita yung details. Okay. Now, sa baba, dito natin ilalagay yung oras. Okay? Now, kung mapapansin nyo sa bar graph, sa histogram, yung ating uh, variable, nilagay natin siya dito doon sa mismong space, doon sa bar. Okay? Kasi, doon, nag-graph tayo using the space. We are using bars. Okay? But this time, since ang gagamitin lang natin ay line graph, so, ito lang yung kailangan natin. We have this, in, we need to use this intersection. Ayan, yung mga, ano na yan, intersection, dyan tayo magpa-plot ng points. Para meron tayong mapag-connect-connect, yun ang magiging line graph mo. Okay? So, ang line graph na bubuo lang yan kasi meron kang mga points na pinag-connect. Okay? So, dito natin ilalagay yung time. So, make sure na nakatapat siya sa linya. Okay? Hindi siya dito kasi we're not making bars. We're not making histogram. We're not making bar graph. Okay? So, dapat dito. So we need because we need to have a, a points plotted. Okay? So let's have an example. Let's start. So at 6 a.m. ang temperature ay 12 degrees. So ito siya, 'di ba? So ayun. Next at 7 a.m. ang temperature ay 14. At 8 a.m. we have 17 degrees. So since wala tayong 17 degrees, that is between 16 and 18. And then, for 9 a.m., okay, the same. At 10 a.m., nag-19 degrees na siya. At 11 a.m., nag-21 degrees. Pagdating ng alas 12 ng tanghali, naging 23. So, yan yung pinaka-mainit. Alauna, 20. Ayan na, medyo bumababa na siya ulit. Alas 2, 18. And then, alas 3 ng hapon, we have 16. Okay. From these plotted points, so dito tayo gagawa ngayon ng lines. Okay. Now, hindi pwede na porket dito ka nag-umpisang mag-plot, eh dito ka magsisimulang mag-graph o gumawa ng linya. No. How will you show that from zero, zero degree, tumaas siya ng ganong kataas? So, dapat from zero ang graph natin. Ang line natin magsisimula sa zero to show na nagsimula sa zero, tumaas siya. Okay? Hindi pwedeng eto lang. Kasi pag dito ka na agad, ang kinumpara mo lang dyan, oh, from 12 degrees naging 14 degrees, no? Bago pa siya mapunta ng 14 degrees, bago siya mapunta ng 12 degrees, dito muna siya. So, dito tayo magsisimula. 
Now, so since you have already your plotted points, we will now connect the points. And that will become your line graph. Okay? Up to the last point. All right. So this is an example of line graph. Okay. Now, what if you were given two sets of data? Okay. So, a while ago, kanina, ang ginraf natin ay yung temperature ng bagyo. Now, paano kapag gusto mong ipakita yung pagkakaiba? If, what if you, you want to show the comparison, the difference of the temperatures in Baguio and in Manila? So, syempre, alam natin sa Baguio malamig, di ba? Manila, kung mapapansin nyo ang tataas, di ba? Ibig sabihin, mas mainit. Which is, totoo naman. Mas mainit sa Manila compared to Baguio, di ba? That's why Baguio is considered the summer capital of the Philippines. Kasi dyan yung pinakamalamig. Okay, you're correct. Alright. So, Baguio and Manila. Paano natin siya i-graph? So, kanina, pinakita na natin yung graph ng Baguio. So, hindi na natin siya ulitin. Kaya, ang papakita natin, ano, paano mo maipapakita yung pagkakaiba? So, sa Baguio, ang gagamitin natin, line. Okay? Actually, pareho naman silang line. Ang pinagkaiba lang, for Manila, we will be using broken lines. Okay? Para mas madali natin siyang makita. So, again, for Manila, uh, Baguio, we will be using solid line, and then for Manila, we will be using broken line para mas madali natin siyang maipakita. Okay. So, natapos na natin kanina yung temperature at graph ng Baguio City. So, now, we will be graphing the Manila. Okay? So, hindi na ako gagamit ng solid line kasi solid line represents Baguio City. So, ulitin ko, kapag meron kang gustong i-compare, Using line graph, you can make use of two different lines. Pwede solid line and then broken line. Pwede rin namang parehong solid line, but use different colors. Okay? Mas madali kasi nating maipapakita ang pagkakaiba nila. Hmm. Now, bukod pa dun, kapag line graph, dapat makita yung pagtaas at pagbaba. Okay, so let's start graphing Manila. So, let's plot the points first. So, ito yung mga points ng Manila. 19, 20, 23, 25, 27, 29, 30, 28, 27, and 25. Now, let me ask you, what is the warmest time of the day in Manila? That is, 19 degrees at 6 a.m. What is the warmest, uh, coolest time of the day in Manila? That is at exactly 12 noon. Okay. So, again, the, the warmest time of the day is at 12 noon and then the coolest is 17 degrees at 6 a.m. So, 6 a.m. yung pinakamalamig. Kagaya sa Baguio, yung pinakamainit natin na tanghali din. Kagaya sa Baguio. Alright. So, let's do the line graph. Again, you should start with zero. Okay. So, as you can see, I used broken lines to show the graph of Manila. I used 
solid line to show the graph of Baguio City. Okay. So, ulitin ko, pwede rin namang gumamit ka ng parehong solid line. Basta, use different colors. Bakit? Para mas madali mong makita. Okay. So, ano ang advantages ng paggamit ng line graph? Mas madali mong makita yung pagtaas at baba, pagbaba. Kagaya nito, ay tumaas. Ha, pantay pa rin. Tumaas. Ah, bumaba siya dito. Diba? Mas madali mo siyang makita yung pagtaas at pagbaba kapag ang ginagamit natin ay line graph. So, kung ang target mo ay maipakita yung pagtaas at pagbaba niya, it's best to use line graph. That's all for today. Thank you. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Please follow us also on Facebook, WowMath.